Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with a logout and also I want to display here the username or the user email because right now if I go to the login and let's log in, let's say test example.com and add the password we are in the slash login here and if I click login now oh yeah sorry for that we need to say test here and yeah we are directed to the home page but we don't see if we are logged in or not so also I want to hide the login and register if we are authenticated okay so for that I'm going to create a context and when we log in get the user details and assign with a user uh, variable so let's open the VS code I'm going to open the files here and inside the source directory I'm going to create a new directory and I'm going to name it context and inside here I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to name out context like this dot jsx and we need to add the dot jsx because we are going to return here the jsx and because we have vidjs if we return jsx we need to have the jsx extension okay the first thing here uh, I'm going to import from the react so let's say import the create context also I'm going to import the use context and the use state okay then also I'm going to import axios import axios but not from Axios, but from the API Axios. So we need to go up slash API slash Axios like this. Okay. And let's also import the use navigate. Import the use navigate from the React router down. And I'm going to create now the context. I'm going to say const. And I'm going to name it auth context. It's going to be equal with the create context. And I'm going to add an empty object here. Then I'm going to export the provider, export const. Uh, not provider, just I'm going to add auth provider. Auth provider and here we receive the props and we need to distract the ch children so we are going to wrap all the components and the components are wrapped is going to be children okay then here i'm going to create a constant for the user so let's say const uh, array user and set user is going to be equal with the use state and initially I'm going to assign with a null so I'm going to check if that is null I'm going to show the login and register if it's not null or for, for example if this if we have a user hide the login and register and if not we show that okay so we create a concept for the user now what I'm going to do well, if I open because to get the user here we need to make an API call so we import the Axios and also we need to get the cookie so here as you can see we make a Axios get CSRF cookie and I'm going to copy this and paste it here 
And then I'm going to get the user. So I'm going to say const get user. And this is going to be an async function. And I'm going to say const and distract the data. It's going to come from the await axios dot get and we make we need to make an api to the slash api slash user to get the user okay and then i'm going to assign that user with this data so i'm going to say set user with the data we have here okay one more thing so if we are if we log in when we log in i want also to log in and then get the user and then return to the home page okay so for that i'm going to move the logic we have here for the handle login in the auth context and also move the logic for the register in here and also create a logout in this context and then just import from the auth context all the logic so let's create the logic for the login here we made the i went to cut this and come here and let's create now a consent and say login which is going to be equal with an async function but here we need to receive the data and i'm going to say we can say for example we need the email and the password like this and let's say now first we need to await the csrf token okay we need to remove from here now and also remove this one and await the csrf token because now we have that csrf here and let me just do something like this and then also we need to have the errors but let me just add for now that paste that in remove this uh, set password and set email we need to have that navigate we imported here so let's define a constant say navigate it's going to be equal with use navigate okay then we need also to have the set errors and we can add the set errors in here so when we call in that uh, login we can receive here the set errors but i'm going to also let's cut this from here and move that error in here and then we can uh, get the errors from the auth context in the login and also the same in the register so now we have the set errors here and we say set errors the error response data and i think we are okay that let's do the same thing for the uh, register which is going to be the same we just create a constant and let's build just copy this and paste down there change this to be register but now we need the name so let's go to the register and yeah we need the name email password and password confirmation and we can add here all of them or we can just say for example data and then 
add the data here. And the same we can use for the uh, login. So we can say spread operator for the data and use that data here. Okay. But here we need not the post the login, but slash register. We add the data, we say navigate. Okay, and if we have the error, we set the error. I think we are okay now. Navigate, and as I said, uh, when we log in, I want also to call that uh, if everything is okay, I want to call the get user. So let's call this get user, which is going to get the users and set the user to that data. And the same thing when we uh, register. So if everything is okay, get the user and then navigate to the slash homepage. Okay. I think we are okay right now and let's return now the provider. So down there here we have the register we have the login the get user and now i want to return the provider so let's return auth context dot provider and we need to add the value and inside the value, we need to add an object with all the uh, data we want to expose, we want to use in other uh, components. And that's it, the user. The errors. And uh, the get user. the login and also the register okay and now i'm going to close here and inside we need to add the children like this so here we return the out context provider we add the value for user errors get user login and register and now i'm going to export this out context and I'm going to say export as a default and add a function, create a function. I'm going to name it use uh, auth context. And here and why we have this. Ah, yeah, because we are inside the provider, so we don't close that. Let's close that provider. Ah, okay, and now let's export default and create a function. And I'm with the name use out context okay and return here use context and add the out context here okay save then with that now we need to go first inside the mine js here and import that provider we created so in here we say export export const out provider we need to imp import that and wrap all the components we want to have the data with this provider so in the mind.js x i want to import that provider import the out provider from slash uh, 
context slash auth context. And we need to say JSX here. And I'm going to wrap this up with that. So let's cut and let's say auth provider and paste that in. Save. Let's close this. Okay, and now here in the login that we can remove the axios. We don't need the axios here. Also, we don't need this use navigate as you can see. And on the we need to import that context so we can say import the use auth context. from context slash house context and then then in the login let's define constant and we want to destruct so what we need here in the login let's come here we need the login method and that's it and the errors Okay, so we did. We need the login and the errors. So let's say here, distract the login and the errors from the use out context. And then on here, we say event prevent default. And the, after that, I'm going to add login method. And inside the login method, we need here we receive the data, which are the email and the password. So let's say here, email and password. Not like this. Sorry for the cut. Parenthesis and then the email and the password. And also we have the errors if we have any. Now let's save this and let's go on the home.jsx. Here we have imported the React but we don't need. I'm going to import the let's import the use effect from React and also import the use out context and in here now I'm going to distract the user. So when we go to the home, I want to display here the username. So let's say const user. And also I want the get user. So maybe we don't have the user. I want to call that get user. And this is going to come from the use out context. Now let's call the use effect hook. And this is going to call on the when this is going to render. And here I'm going to say if we have the user, because if we are coming from the login, uh, when we login here we also call the get user so we have the user there so we don't need to make again that call and i'm going to check here if we don't have that the user then i'm going to call the get user method otherwise we don't do that Okay, and now let's say here, let's display the user question mark dot name. Now the login is okay, I think, and the home JS is okay. Let's try and see the, as you can see, we have test here, but I want to log out and let's inspect the element right now and just clear the cookie and let's clear the cookie also here 
and we are going to implement the logout also but for now just let's do something like this and if i refresh yeah we don't see that but if i go to the login and let's log in again with test example.com and add the password and let's say login we redirected back and we have now the test user let's inspect the element let's go to the network and yeah let's see now if we go to the login and let's go now to the home yeah as you can see we don't make a request to get the user because we have the user and if we logged out then we make a so if i go to the login and then let's go to the home now we make a request to the user but we have 401 unauthorized we are unauthorized for that to get the user because we need to log in here and we can protect this route just if we are not logged in go to the login page but for now i just created the context and add the logic here the same we need to go do for the register because right now the register is the same we had before so i'm going to remove this csrf and also this one and the navigate the errors also the axios and the use navigate from here and we need to import the context and let's get so what we need for here we need the register and the errors the same we have here here we have the login but just let's copy this and paste it here instead of login we need the register and we call that register here and we need to add the name the email the password and password confirmation let's save and let's see now if it's going to work so let's open we don't have the user let's go and register and i'm going to say john john.com add the password so i'm going to say just four characters to see if we have the validation say register and yeah oh we may we have the name field is required the email field is required and the password field is required and why yeah sorry for that we need that in the coli braces and save and the refresh and say now john john .com and add the password just to see for the errors and if i say register yeah now we have only the password and now type the password the correct one and let's say register and we redirected back and we have the user john here Okay friends, that's it about this video.